Epic Waters is a relatively new water park in Grand Prairie, Texas. Texas has quite a few indoor water parks, and this is the best one in the Dallas area. So in this video, I will review Epic Waters Indoor Water Park and share everything you need to know about this place. This park opened in 2018 as part of the Epic Central Complex. Epic Waters was part of Phase 1, and more entertainment options are still under construction as of this recording. Epic Central is located in Grand Prairie, Texas, allowing it to serve the Dallas, Fort Worth, and Arlington metro areas. If you're using amusement parks as your point of reference, the property is just 5 minutes from Prairie Playland and 15 minutes from Six Flags Over Texas. You can actually see both these places from the park's tallest slide tower. Epic Waters is an 80,000 square foot indoor water park, making it one of the largest out there. The property's signature feature is a giant retractable roof. This gives the park flexibility to open the roof as weather permits. The property aims to keep the temperature at 85 degrees year-round minimum. You still need to watch out for thunderstorms though, and these are quite common in the summer months in the area. Per their FAQs online, if lightning is within 5 miles of the park, they will close their major slide tower. I suspect this is because a lot of the slides head outdoors for part of the experience. If you do decide to visit, you'll find a giant parking lot adjacent to the facility. Parking is free. But despite its proximity to Dallas, I couldn't find any public transit options as of early 2023. But ride shares seem quite plentiful in the area if you don't have a car. The side of the building facing the lot isn't too appealing. It just looks like a big windowless warehouse bearing the property's name. However, the other side looks much better. The back side overlooking the pond and walking trails looks the best. You have big glass windows and multiple slides popping out of the building. This also is the side most visible from the highway, so I get why this decision was made. In peak season, the park is open 10am to 9pm. Those are incredibly long hours for a water park, and I think most people could do everything here in a half day. That is why I would look into doing the Twilight Swim event. On these days, you can get into the park for the last 3-4 to four hours for just $20, that is a fantastic deal. Check the park's calendar for days when this is offered. It's usually an off-peak Sundays and weekdays. For comparison, a full day ticket can cost you $40-$60. to $60. The park uses dynamic pricing, charging more in busier days. It's also worth knowing Grand Prairie residents can get tickets for roughly half off. Then on top of that, you may just need to get a locker. It is $10 to $16 depending on the size. The one time I visited, I went during spring break. Because high crowds were anticipated, the park actually opened its gates at 8.30am. I think that's the earliest I've ever seen a water park open. I arrived for rope drop and was able to make a quick lap of every slide before the crowds arrived. I suspect this strategy will work most days. When I left around noon, the longest line appeared to be roughly 20 minutes, which honestly isn't all that bad for a water park. Staff members were efficient, having the next rafter guest ready to go once the runoff was clear. From what I saw, the attractions garnering the longest waits for the flow rider due to its low capacity and the tube slides due to their broader appeal. If you arrive at opening, do these attractions first. Arguably the best aspect about this park is its appearance. A lot of indoor water parks look dark and dreary, this one is bright and colorful. The giant glass windows on the roof and back walls admit plenty of natural light. Then the attractions, all of which are still pretty new, have vibrant paint schemes. And as an added bonus, you have a few trees and planters to give a more natural feel. Just don't expect any theming, because there isn't any. The big slide tower is in the back corner of the park. Like many indoor water parks, there is a single set of stairs accessing all the attractions. I get why this setup is done as a cost and space saving measure, but it can make the queuing experience a bit chaotic when the park gets busy. If you're trying to ride the body slides, you will awkwardly need to squeeze past everyone else and continue up the tower. Now let's run through the slide lineup. It's pretty balanced. You have two extreme speed slides, a solid body slide, two tube slides, and a mat racer. These were all made by Whitewater West. The most intriguing slide here is Locura, the park's trap door slide. Not only is it the park's most intense attraction, but it has a really odd history. 
This slide opened with the Parka's lasso loop. This featured an inclined loop similar to Scorpion Tail at Noah's Ark. However, it was recently modified to have a flat turn after the drop. Not sure why this was done, but I believe they reused the same slide piece, which now causes an entirely different issue. The initial plunge is fantastic. You get a good freefall sensation. But watch out afterwards. That turn is barely any lubrication. If you drift up the wall at all, which is inevitable with the high speeds, your feet will scrape along the dry slide. I got awful friction burns on my feet, and I wasn't the only one either. This should be the park's standout attraction, but I think it needs some fine tuning so people aren't coming off in pain. I much preferred Prairie Plunge for my adrenaline rush. You push yourself over the edge, and you have a single steep drop down. You get a pinch of airtime at the start, and most importantly, it is smooth the whole way down. The final body slide is Texas Twist. This one is a series of decently fast turns. The ones in the last three quarters pull some solid force. This is another smooth one too. e Razors is an okay mat racing slide. This one is pretty short though. You have just one turn and a dip, but you still get the thrill of racing at least. Of the two tube slides, Yellow Jacket Drop is by far the superior one. This slide starts with some slow turns and a surprise constrictor turn. Then you have a big drop. This drop can give some air time. Then you drift up a big wall getting some weightlessness. This slide is better in pairs. You go a lot faster in the turns and subsequently have more speed down the drop with more weight. The park does allow single riders on the tube slides, but since they have you sit solo on the back of a double tube, you will crawl at points if you ride in this manner. Aquanaut has some mini funnels. I was only able to experience this one solo, so I didn't go too high up the walls. But I know these slides can be quite wild if you have two people together. You will really slide up those funnels. For kids, they have Rascals Roundup. This is a water fortress with a giant dump bucket, all sorts of sprayers, and some smaller body slides. Then to relax, you have a few options. Rio Grande is a short lazy river circling around the water play area. The swimming hole is a big activity pool with some basketball hoops. Then the park also has an outdoor wave pool on days with suitable weather. The final water based attraction is Flow Rider. I am awful at these, but I know people love these surfing simulators. You also have an arcade. I got a few credits included with my day pass, and you have to pass through here to access the slides. While you have a lot of modern games, a lot were unfortunately broken. For food, there was a single stand near the lockers, but I did not get any meals at the park. Prices did seem quite reasonable for a water park though. So do I recommend Epic Waters? In the cooler months or on rainy days, absolutely. This is the area's best indoor water park. You have a well-rounded slide lineup and a nice atmosphere. I think the outdoor water parks nearby do have more to offer, but this still has a good amount of attractions and it's more than worth it if you get one of those Twilight Swim tickets. So those are my thoughts on Epic Waters Indoor Water Park in Grand Prairie, Texas. What are your thoughts on this place? How do you think it compares to the other water parks nearby? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there will be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.